Welcome back again. Uh, we're going to sit there and turn this cut grass into hay. Take this machine here and just jiggle it around. Then we're going to take and uh, pick it all up, put it in our hay loft. There'll be a couple of trailers, or a couple of. Uh, it'll be, be some. Yeah, I don't know how many trailers it'll be. But be quite a few of. Them. Uh, I already got my AI. He's cutting it with little, my little uh, R2D2 uh, <laughs> lawnmower. <laughs> that thing is something else. There he is, way down there. So, whoa! I'm gonna come in here behind him and start getting it all mixed up. Unfortunately, I gotta get me one of them road builders and uh, wind rowers, and, which I haven't gotten that yet, so I'll have to go get that afterwards. And start uh, making all the wind rows again. Make it easier to pick it up. If you saw in an early video, I was ready to get my cows, but I needed some hay, and so I just went ahead and bought it. I forget what it costs. Uh, this series a lot cheaper this way. Especially if I can get a head stockpiled up. That's where it really pays off. That's when you get a, a stockpile of it. And you start saving money. It's hard to get started. You have nothing to work with. You're trying to do the right things all the time, but you end up spending money that you don't have. When you finally do get the loan paid off, things start looking a little bit brighter. And you're taking actually seeing a future in front of you but until then it's all gloom and dim and, and until you can actually get where you need to be and that's true in life too change this tractor around too. It's actually too, it's, well it's big enough for what I'm doing nowadays. These little jobs like this. But Maybe change that front end piece. What did I do? Oh, I hit the button. Got my cup of coffee, pot of coffee, and I'm ready to roll here. Ah, straight. 
straighten up. I have sat there and done, done this right here and uh, turned around and let the grass grow back, cut it again, and did it again. Uh, I don't remember how many bales of uh, hay I, I had, but I had a lot. I know it wasn't going to take and disappear too soon. need to check the cows. I think they, being I'm making this, I can give them some. Uh, come on here. Cows are settled in, they're doing good. I can't get that steering down right yet. I don't listen anyhow. One day maybe I'll have me a uh, uh, steel wheel console to put on this thing. I ain't got the money to buy it now, that's for sure. I can do one more and then I'll have to wait on R2-D2 there. Yeah, we'll do one more run and we'll 
R2D2, I think I'll go get go ahead and get it wind rover. Gotta wait on him to finish up. Let's see. Where is my tractor? I don't want that darn thing. Oh, okay, here we go. Drive me to the shop and I'll see. Windows. Where are the windows? There you go. Mm, which one to get? I guess I'll go with this one. Made it, I don't believe it. Alright, where am I trying? There you are. Well, 
I'm waiting on him to come back. Let's see. Yeah, he can do me a, uh, do another row, another set. They don't get hung up. Ah, I think he got hung up. Where's he at? Yeah, I think he got hung up somewhere. <laughs> See if we find him. Yep, thought so. Yes. Oh, car. Stupid car. Driver stuff. Thought he go. I thought this thing was supposed to go around, avoid the traffic, but for some reason or other, I can't seem to figure out how to get it to do that. I can't figure out how to get them to go around the cars. I think there's a uh, that don't pop up. Command. The command hub that gives you the let you set everything. Oh, I don't need to go on up in there. can't seem to get the command hub to open up where I can do the settings. Okay. Now we're going to build the wind road back. So we can turn around and pick it up.
all the wonderful things you do when you first get up bright and early in the mornings. Well, it's cool. Work the fields. Get her done. Yeah. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to bring, work the rows, the wind rows all the way to the right as much as possible. Come on here. Traffic jam. I don't know why they stopped. I ain't running that pro. I don't think I'm running that program. Anybody's out there watching, just make a comment, say hi, hello, acknowledge, good morning, good evening, whatever, whatever time of day it is, wherever you're at. Speak up, don't be shy. 
Yeah, I guess it will come through onto the screen here where I can see it. I don't know. I've yet to see it, so anybody wants to help help out and prove that whether or not I can see your chat, that'd be more than welcome. And we're just now getting this stuff all set up. Still trying to work it right. Give you some entertainment. Maybe I might even be doing something that you didn't even think about doing in a, in a way that, and you might, you might like what I got going here. I don't know. You know. Everybody's got different ways of doing things. I'm going to get all of it. Yeah, okay. Different tactics. And this is true in any farming, I believe, uh, in real. You work things to what best fits you. And I hope that you get a good crop out of the whole deal. Or livestock, whatever, you know, whatever you're working with. Like I've actually got chickens and pigs, in real. Uh, last count on the chickens, like 42, I think. And uh, they are giving some good eggs. Fresh homegrown eggs, so they ain't nothing like them. Uh, they're better and health, more healthy for you, anyhow. Than, you know, once you're getting out of the stores. I hate this tree. I really hate that. Whoa. Didn't quite get it. And like I said, I'm just trying to pull the wind road over to the right. Plus, it, it makes it a bigger pile. And you see where it's over here to the right or off the tip of the uh, wind rover. And then in the center, it's moved over, you know, a little bit. And on the left, I'm picking up whatever I can get to there, whatever I can reach. And there's no reasoning behind it other than the way I want to do it. I could just run through and wind roll everything up and be done with it, but I don't know, I just feel like doing it this way. You know, it makes a bigger pile. And if I was to bail it, it have quite it bail the bales would build up faster in each row that you go down. Now it'd be the same number of bales, but instead of being all spread out, it'd be more centralized in one area if you bailed it. But I'm not bailing it. I'm going to take and pick it up and put it in the hayloft because I want to get that filled up. Uh, I can take my tractor and the trailer and... and uh, load it up to feed the animals or use what I need uh, let me get in a little closer make sure I'm right I think I'm right I'm noticing that the row is getting longer as I do this too. I might have to get 
If I continue doing it, I might have to get the uh, uh, bucket, and scoop it up, and dump it back into the field. So I can take and just shorten the row back up. Where's my little R2D2? Oh, uh, he's no, he's not quite finished yet. Getting close, I'm sure. Let me, uh I think I'll put an AI on the uh, hay machine. Well, I'll do it that way. Force it over. Okay. He's finished with his. Yeah, I'm blocking. And take the tractor another round. Oh, I've got to figure out how to get the music playing in there too. I thought I could bring in Amazon Music, but I can't put it on my desktop. So. 
it's a, I mean, it's a mobile app, what it is. I got it on my phone. And definitely, if you, hey, if you got Amazon Prime, you can join Twit, Twitch, what that? You can link them together. I, I don't know what it, it, I don't know what good it does you, but if you already got Amazon Prime and you want to go Twit, Twit Prime, it don't cost you anything to link them, and it doesn't cost you any extra money. Uh, that's, I just found that out, so I linked up. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what options it gave me. But uh, I guess maybe in time I'll find out. Trying to put it on the on the Thomas uh, Commodore web page. I I guess it's there. I don't know. That road's pretty big. I'm going to start a new one. Hey, I can't be leaving that stuff behind now. It's like gold right now. I gotta get some more coffee. there pick him up ah
He's a noisy little thing. Pull back away from him so he won't be so noisy. And after I do this here, I'll probably plow this field up and disc or cultivate it and plant something else. Get my stockpile going good. That is, if I fill up the uh, the bin there. Hard to put me to shit in front in here since I'm parking here like this all the time. I probably will. I just ain't taking time to do anything like that yet. Uh, that's way up yonder. Oh, okay. Okay, you're done with. And Ben, you're done with. Close, see, uh, put you away like so. They put me a shed up here somewhere. Uh, I want to wait because I still want to put another. Want to start getting some more cows and stuff. Put me another building there. Plus, I still got some landscaping I want to do. I gotta lower this hill down and lower that hill over yonder make it all more level than what it is and I go over there and knock off that that ridge and make it level across here and then try to bring it down lower even to the point where it's not so low such a dip down there But I gotta build up some more money before I can do all that. And it's getting close. <sighs> ah, let me get some coffee. Be right back. Okay, got my coffee, doing good. Early morning on both ends here, game-wise, as in real. Sun's not even up. Okay. I wonder, I'm going to see something. Probably shouldn't do this. far away. Go ahead and make another big row. Uh. 
like I said, if you're out there, feel free to speak, say good morning, chat. God bless you. As a co-worker always used to say, don't be scared. <laughs> and if anybody's in my line of business, they'll know what, who that is. <laughs> yeah. We ain't going there. Don't be scared. Go on and speak up if you're out there. <laughs> and if you are speaking... <laughs> Uh, if you are speaking, I'm sorry if, because it didn't show up on my screen here. But maybe I can message you back later after I get out of hit this screen. Oh, stop! Messed, messed up, I think. I was thinking I didn't have it down, I did. I lifted it up. I wish Giant would put together an update where you didn't have to plow if you didn't want to, but you could use uh, organic style growing and mob grazing. It took the earth, it takes Mother Nature, I think it's a thousand years to create one inch of topsoil. And man has destroyed eight inches less than 200 years. There's a lot of big farmers out there in the Midwest that are changing their ways on uh, farming instead of conventional tillage you're going to no-till I wish Giant would simulate that into the program because uh, what they've got here is conventional farming Uh, utilize uh, the cows you know for fertilization you know put them out here grazing on uh, everything I, I, actually, I think I heard they were going to do seasonals 
uh, seasonal update. I'm not sure if it's already done or not, but in that aspect, you know, you set it up where you grow your crops, your, your fruit, as they call it, crops, farm it, and then put in your winter crops for a, uh, a cover crop, what it's called, actually. To help build the soil, you know, with carbon and everything like that. Carbon and your micros and everything. Really get into what they're actually doing nowadays. Versus this right here. It's it's pretty interesting what they, they, they're telling everybody now. And it actually, it makes sense. That's the thing about it. It just makes sense. It's not no scientific factor about it. It's doing what Mother Nature has been doing for millions of years. And it's just so simple, so easy. But yet, we think we know better and scientists say we can do this and do that and nah, it's just it just makes sense you know you go out there into the woods and look and dig down and see what mother nature's doing and we can duplicate not or duplicate or replicate that that same scenario with farming just by Not you know with the non till not no till. Well, every time you know you put the plow into the uh, ground, you're letting that carbon loose. It's being sequestered back into the atmosphere. You know, as it is the uh, the plants and things are absorbing the carbon putting it into the ground and other micros use it I guess I don't know now that's the scientific part but uh, I'm not there but anyhow it gets put into the ground but when you come back through with a plow you let it all back out So it would be great if Giant would take and try to figure out how to put that into the program where you're, you're doing a no-till type grow uh, harvesting assimilation, however you want to say it. Maybe in the Farm Sim later 20 <laughs> when it comes out. Everybody be jumping on that. Now I'd probably be, I don't know. I'm just rattling on. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be like this sometimes. I get I get like that. And I don't let things bother me. There's no sense of worrying about anything that you can't really do anything about. You know, just worry about yourself, deal with what you got to deal with to survive. And let everybody else just run around like chickens with a head chopped off. That's what half the people are doing nowadays. You know, I have seen some videos on where people are trying to do things a little bit different. Some of them are making it. Some of them are struggling. Some of them ain't telling the truth about it, but you know, they're still out there doing it. 
uh, growing their own, producing their own, producing their own food. The whole thing is diversity, I guess. You know, you got to have a little bit of everything going on just to make it balance. I don't know, I guess. I haven't been, I've been trying to get into farming and real. And I'm not having much luck at it. My time won't allow me to stay with it. That's my problem. And then it's like anything else. When I figure out how to do something and uh, then I have to go away and do my career job. I tend to forget things that I figured out. And that start all over from scratch. Well, it's definitely in a game. <laughs> no, not so much in real. You, know, you find something that works. And it's working good. And you, you stick with it. I always said one day I'm going to create a game, charge a dollar, and I'll be I'll be happy. Why a dollar? It, it, in order, if you take and have something that's built, if you can build something like that and get a million, a million customers paying one dollar, that's one million dollars that you've earned. Uh, these high prices on these games the use the excuse technology uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, high tech knowledge honestly half the darn half the games put together or built with some program that does all the work. Well, all you do is read say, yeah, I want this here to happen. I mean, all the basics, fundamentals are done. A algorithms and all that kind of stuff. And now it's all AI type stuff that says, uh, yeah, do you want this to happen? Yes. Scripting, you know, so you reading and understanding and comprehending what, what it is that you wanted to do if it is doing what you wanted it what you wanted it to do then you know why should it cost so darn much to build a game everybody's money hungry they're chasing the almighty dollar euro dollar marks whatever yeah everybody's chasing that Chasing the gold. Can't have two masters. That's all there is to it. I'm trying to stay away from political and religion. But it's hard sometimes. Things get on get on your mind need to go to church what I need to do say grace, we say man, we ain't a debt, we don't give a damn. Hello there. Overshot my turn there again. That's because I'm using the keyboard, I think. 
I'm pretty sure that's the reason why is because I am using the keyboard. I don't have the uh, steering, steering wheel function. And I need to be on the, I don't think, I, I might be able to, nah, I need to be on the outside so I can watch this outer section here. Make sure I'm getting all, getting everything. Oh, well, you know, I'll tell you what. Ah! That's what I was about to say. I messed around with quite a few games. And the ones I enjoy right now that I, I did, I have enjoyed over time, both of them have come out of Germany. It's, it's ironic. This one, and many years ago when I was playing a game, a game called Tibia, it's a PK game. I like. I still. I think it was a great concept way to put it together and everything. I mean, it started with four uh, college boys, 10, 15, 20 years ago, something like that. I don't know. And uh, it was just a college project to start with. But then it went viral. I mean, not viral like we, well, yeah. We didn't know what viral was then. That's how long ah, it goes. But, uh, like I said, they, it was a college project. And it's hit and it kept growing. Hey, anyway, what? Uh, this one here, I think it's going. I think it's doing good. I guess. But anyhow, you know, like I said, I two games I thoroughly enjoyed so far. Is, well, I enjoy Tibby up to the point where you train your character and you train your character and. And some fool comes along wanting to take and show he's, you know, stronger or better or whatever. And he might have more talent. And he kills you and then you lose your skills and, you know, that you build up and it over and over and over. And I finally got sick of it. There's a couple other games I did enjoy. Oh, way back in the beginning, there was a game called Battle Zone. Battle Zone 2, uh, something Commander. That was pretty cool. It was a strategy game. You had this little, or I ain't gonna say little, you had this robot that turned around and built your buildings. And, uh, and everything. Like I said, it was cool. Shame it didn't stay active or grow in popularity the way. I mean, it did. It was a fad type thing. And when it came out, I think it was ahead of the computers because it was hard to play sometimes. You, I mean, you'd lock up. But the graphics and everything for the time period were great. But, uh, it'd be sweet if that would come back. So, well, I guess, I don't know, maybe not. Say something like that, so, well, let's bring Pong back. I remember playing Pong. <laughs> uh, start out playing Pong. And... 
way back when in the 70s I believe it was and look at us now we've got all these here it's hard to believe we've come so far remember my younger days Miss Pac-Man running that running that maze I don't know how many quarters I dropped on that machine but man I've dropped a ton of money in Miss Pac-Man quarter 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 <laughs> I finally got the pattern down right I was getting pretty good at it But well, that was the thing back in the day. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see if I can run this row here closer to that big row there and then put them together and then move on and start another big row. And there it is no reason behind it other you know there's no purpose but my own satisfaction the way I want to do it that's all it's no I don't think there's any pluses about it it might be because it you know it, maybe it's less to pick up at one time you know where when I come back and pick it up I just, now I got two rows versus five out there or whatever it was yeah it's like the building down there. It's the only. It's not really that you're going to benefit by it, other than convenience. You don't have to run all the way down to the barn to sell the stuff. You know, you can just do it right here on your property. And keep on, you know, and keep on going instead of wasting time traveling. Especially if you can't get auto, if you don't know how to get auto uh, drive going yet, uh, for any new guys out there, guys or gals, I should say. Okay, now let's see if I can put them together. So, yeah, anyhow, like I said, it, it's just a convenience for me. And this way I can keep going with uh, whatever it is I'm working on, having to build the, the bell, bell cell building down there. And, of course, the, uh, the, uh, I might have come back through again. The contracts, I've seen the contracts, you know, say delivery at the bell cell. So when you do put it up, the contracts do take them, pull it in if the price is right that they want to sell the product for. Anyhow, this is that building. Let me. That building right there. That's a placeable item. The only profit behind it is, is the fact that I can run. I can take these, pick up these two rows, run there, dump them, sell them, come back, pick up some more. Versus uh, buying four or five trailers, picking it all up. And then spend the rest of the day running to the barn. You know, it's 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 convenient thing. It's what works best for each individual. Now that something like this, something like that, might not work for everybody else.
But, you know, for me, it, it, it works. I had to come through here again because I wasn't able to get it all in one shot. Yeah, that wind rose getting pretty big. But, you know, like I said, back to the other, it's, it, it, it is what works for the person that's doing what they want to do. Yes, the only that's the only thing about it. Man, it's something that works for me. For a while there, it was paying more than the uh, barn until I, you know, I kept filling it up, filling it up, filling it up. Then the barn started paying higher. I started, I don't know how many of these games with Raven Port. A couple of things I was trying to do. I guess I could have manipulated it, but I just never could quite get it right. Or I get aggravated because I tried to do something and couldn't do it. And I said, ah, heck with this. Alright, time to start another big wind row. Come on now. Treat me cheat me right now. Oh no no, don't go that away. Need to stop for a second, check it, make sure things are doing all right here. Uh oh. Hmm. Don't like that. I guess we're doing all right. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Nobody said anything. Got one viewer that came in, I guess. Uh, I wish it would have spoke up. Said something in chat. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to understand this stuff. I've never streamed before, so I thought I'd try it. All right, well, back to it. I guess everything's all right.
I'm not doing the capture device yet because well I want to make sure I got everything else right first I'll come I'll come out of the dark when I get this when I figure out how to do all this other stuff right now you just have to be content with the voice as ragged as it is uh, I know it sounds boring I lead a boring life mostly it's because I'm not doing what I want to do and I can't get out of what I'm doing right now I tell you what as soon as I can never get out of what I'm doing my career job I'm gonna try my best to do what I want to do and that's actually farm grow my own crops, grow, you know, my own livestock. Well, anytime you can grow something, produce something, The money you spend to produce it is probably about the same as what you're going to spend over a year's time in the store. So anything that you can grow to reduce that cost is always in your benefit. Unfortunately, I learned that way too late in life. I've always had the capability to start doing it, but I just never have. Until now. Hey, you looking at retirement and stuff like this. You want to get out of what you're doing. Start thinking about what you got to work with. You're like, wow, I should have started this a long time ago. I hope I'm not too boring. <sighs> There's some viewers in here, maybe. And like I said, if I'm trying to chat, I'm sorry that I don't see it. So I don't know how to bring it up onto my screen. I'll do my working screen here if it's not coming in. Uh, and if it does come up, you know, feel free to try. Talk to me. It'll give me a little bit more of a, a topic to work with. I don't know if any of you, I don't put a plug in. I don't know if any of you's uh, ever watched uh, Arthur Chapman. He's got some good farm simulation. Uh, some, ah, oh boy. He's got some good uh, videos on this farm simulation. I like the way he's put things together. He picked him up in Limey. <laughs> if she ever watches the video, she's going to kill me for saying that. She don't know me, but <laughs> they don't know me. But they do have some good videos. Simone and uh, Arthur. He's, 
he really is in tune and has done a quality job on uh, putting things together to make it entertaining. And that's what it is, it's entertainment. You know, all in all, honestly. And he's done, I think he's done a well, a very good job at putting it, his uh, entertainment videos together. I'd like to join him one day on a multi. Yeah. But first he's got to get to know me, I guess, you know. He, maybe if he sees the video and follows, watches it and Maybe he'll invite me to a multi one day. Uh, who knows? I haven't uh, done multi yet. I'm. I want to. I figured maybe I get this here pretty much where I want it to be. Maybe then I can take it. I'll try. I don't know. It's all up in the air. So many bad things can happen in multi. People are, people are just so evil, and there's no sense in all that. It's really, there isn't. You know, somebody just trying to have a good time and joy and relax, and, and you got others out there they're hell bent to make your life miserable, and it. It's sad that people are like that. And there's no reason. I mean, you just want to have fun, you know. Like, I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. Having my coffee in the morning, doing this right here. I got some real things I got to do today. If I get off my hiney and do it, I might be able to do some of it online. I don't know. But. Uh, people are just evil. They don't care about each other. Oh, they say they do. Nah. Uh, they, they're out to harm you before they'll try to help you. And, you know, They don't want to work for anything. They don't want to take whatever you got. They think you got something better than what they have. And you don't have to do that. It's not the way it's not the way it was meant to be. no reason to harm people yeah John he's got himself a brand new truck over there and I just got this old beat up wannabe truck I ain't gonna put plug no names in there no product names on that one Cause I'm biased anyhow on my truck. <laughs> uh, and I wish I could figure out how to bring that style of truck in on the mob. But every time I look at them mobs, they just they're 
they're not I can't I can't I can't get the things to come in sometimes Oh, if anybody can tell me how to put a, a name, Perry's Farm, on the side of my semi-truck and trailer, please tell me in chat. Let me know. Leave, a, leave me a message. I would like to label the side of the truck. I know it's a script of some, some sort, but I just can't figure out how to write it to write it in there. I understand scripting a little bit, but you know, X, XML anyhow. But like I said, I don't know how to work it so it will do what I want it to do. And if you're enjoying these videos, you know the usual. Click follow, likes, whatever, you know, support. If it's there, I don't even know if it's on there. I need it. I need another device, another way to monitor it, I guess. Uh, there again, it costs money and it's just money I ain't got. Tractor takes another room. Oh, I like that song. I don't know why I keep singing that. I'm well, about halfway done with this. But you see all these rows out here um, I'm sitting there like I said making it convenient for myself you know I got three big rows so far versus a bunch of small rows that I'm going to pick up and of course I had nothing else better to do Coming along nicely. Until I miss like that. Boy, I'm going through this coffee.
I'd go faster, but the problem is uh, then I, I start losing control of the steering. I find it's easier. It takes a little bit longer to go a little bit slower. Otherwise, I'd go ahead and pick up speed. <sighs> All right, I'm there's uh, I think I won't go ahead and start a new one, it looks like. kind of big, hard to deal with. doing all that. Leave it. Ah! Wait a minute. I forgot to straighten up my wheels. So I'm just going to leave it. I'll just use the uh tip trailer to uh, pick it up. Uh, that's the best thing to do. Take five for a second. Be right back.
guess everything's all right. Head back at it. Right up. Oh, did I mess up? No, that's right. I'm starting a new one. I was thinking I messed up. Hey, this thing repaired. I'm crazy. Not knowing what I wanted to do. Move. Excuse me. Sorry, dust got up in my nose. Yeah, it makes me not want to drive right. That was where I sneezed. The repercussions are moving on down through here. Traffic jam over there. Don't the horns at each other. Like dummies. <laughs> Even in game they got. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. And I relate this more to New Jersey, New York, than anything, because that's where I've seen it the most. You let the traffic stop, back up. People blow their horns, blow their horns, let's go, let's go, blow their horn. And it don't do no daggone good. You know, to blow your horn at somebody, thinking it's going to make them move. You know, when it, uh, there's hundred cards in front of them that stopped because of something that happened. Yet, it's so impatient uh, uh, and it, that they sit there and go blow the horns. They got that in the game. <laughs> uh, I just blow my horn back at them. Especially when I'm in the truck. I love blowing that one. Semi truck. 
Ah, it's just funny to me. I don't know. Maybe it's. Uh, I, if I ever do get tired, I'll just shut off the uh, traffic thing. Just get rid of the vehicles. But then it becomes boring to me. Like, you know. I was, you know, playing like this here. Yeah. It's just me. Nobody else. And, uh. So, you know, just. I guess without it, it would, like I said, to be a little bit bored. More, I'd get bored with this pretty fast. And it gives me a little something to fuss about. Like, I, <laughs> I think I can cut the train off. I don't know. I got nailed by that train on that many times. Get hung up on that gate and that turn. That train size is going to come through and just knocks the heck out of me. He sends me across the map. <laughs> uh, or all of a sudden it comes through and them arms drop real fast and I'm in the middle of it and it just locks me down. And I can't get out of it before the train gets there. Yeah, stuff like that. Oh. I think after this one, I'll go to the far edge of there and start working back this way. Roll all that into this big pile. If I can. And then I'll pick it up, start taking it to the barn, or to the halo. See, I'm going to come over here and start rolling it back to the left. Oh, that coffee went down the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah.
and then we'll start rolling it over. To, uh, come on, state level out. Stay the course. Okay. You look crazy there. <laughs> Yeah, it was first starting out. I I tried to do a farm there where you come in at, but as I kept messing with it, and manipulating it, it just I didn't like the lay of the land. I couldn't fix it the way I wanted. And I saw this here. I kept looking at it, and I was like, Yeah, you know what? We can do something this way. Three big lots. I can build on it, manipulate. <coughs> Excuse me, Ma manipulate it, landscape it. You know the way I want it to be. I don't have to. Other than that one tree right now, I ain't got to worry about trees getting in my way or anything like that. Is in a central location where I can get the where I need to go when you know versus having to go to one end of the map. The only thing I can't really do is with, well I can I just got to get a trailer and haul the uh, header around on the combine so I can go down down to the uh, uh, shoot. The, the farm farmland down there number four and all that whatever them numbers are and, you, know, you gotta go across that bridge and well the bridge is uh, a little high where I can't just keep the combine heads on That means I'd have to have a trailer to trailer room. Yeah, you can hook them up to the back of the combine, but I don't know. Between seven and eight and eleven, and I can get over to uh, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen over there by uh, animal dealer. I can get to them real easy, you know, even with the headers on. Jump the railroad tracks and keep going. If I feel like going over there and messing with anything. Come on here now. Uh, 
Big up if you're out there. If you can hear me. my coffee instead of drinking it. Uh. Come on now, don't be wild, wiggling, wobbling, doing all kinds of crazy mess. about finished here. Let me make that turn. Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me, all of a sudden, got the yawns. I don't know why. Done. I'm over steering. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Okay. Well, let's see, we're going to park this at. Alright, let's all park it down here somewhere.
That was pretty decent. Alright, well, that's all of that. I'm going to end this, this video. Try to, I'm not, I didn't, I don't want to make them as long as I did. I didn't mean to do that. I just was hard at it and forgot all about everything. Just doing whatever I was doing. So, hope you enjoyed. Listen to me rattling on. I hope I didn't uh, get too out of the way there. Try to keep, try to keep personal feelings out of, out of this. Cause like I said, I want to sit there and enjoy this and have fun with it. So, yeah, do the usual: likes, dislikes, follows, whatever, whatever's on there. I don't even know. Yeah, and uh. We'll see you later, and we'll be putting together the next step in this project here pretty soon. Oops. Oh, shoot, wrong button.